Good morning. I'm actually live streaming this in the morning because I have another virtual meeting this afternoon. So grace and peace to you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reading comes from my Jewish study Bible again, so there are some names that are given in the text in Hebrew. Jesus, of course, in Hebrew is Yeshua. The new word today is what the disciples are called, although I assume that Jesus had several different names for his disciples. In Hebrew, they were called the Talmudim. And don't worry, I'll go back to the NIV tomorrow. The Gospel reading comes today from Matthew chapter 8, beginning at the 23rd verse. This is the Word of God. He boarded the boat, and his Talmudim followed. Then, without warning, a furious storm arose on the wake, so that waves were sweeping over the boat. But Yeshua was sleeping. So they came and roused him, saying, Sir, help, we're about to die. He said to them, Why are you afraid? So little trust you have. Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and there was a dead calm. The men were astounded. They asked, what kind of man is this that even the winds and sea obey him? May God bless the reading and the hearing of this portion of his holy word. Have you ever prayed the panic prayer? You know, God, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to make rent this month. Let me win the lottery. Or how about, you know, I know you probably don't care who wins a football game, but I've got 20 bucks riding on the Cardinals this week. Or maybe, oh Lord, don't let that bump I just hit give me a flat tire, not in this neighborhood. Or, God, I'm so frightened for my family and myself in this pandemic. Please don't let us get sick. Well, those are legitimate prayer and, and good prayer even. You're acknowledging your natural human fear, and you're asking God for help. Or maybe it's even more serious than that. God, we've been married only five years. Don't let her die. You can substitute 15 or 30 or 60 for five years there, too. And actually, I think that the more you pray, the less you will panic. Oswald Chambers says that, when we pray like that to God and invoke his name, God has an expectation that we will trust in that name. God expects his children to be confident in him, even in crisis, even in pandemic. Sometimes we are confident to God up to a point, but when things get really dicey, we go back to our panic prayers. It's almost as if we think that God is asleep or doesn't care about us. Jesus says to the Talmudim, O oh, ye of little faith. That must have really hit the disciples where they lived because their faith in Jesus was why they were there. But what joy must fill our hearts and the, the heart of God too when he knows we are totally relying upon him. How proud God must be of us when we get it right. Yeah, there are times when there are no storms, no crisis, and saying that we believe is easy. Sometimes, like today, we are in the storm, and maybe even bigger storms ahead. It's when the storm comes, when the pandemic is raging, that we reveal upon whom we rely. Chambers says that if we have been learning to worship God and to trust Him, the crisis will reveal that we will go to the breaking point and not break in our confidence in him. Pray with me, please. Heavenly Father, calm our fears and the storm. Help us to be prudent with our actions and to trust you in all things. Soli Deo Gloria, to God alone be the glory. Amen. 
See you tomorrow. Trust in God and wash your hands.